Welcome back and happy Friday. I'm coming to you from the comfort of my bed amongst all my comfy pillows. Reason being because I haven't been feeling super well recently, so I'm just having a little lie down, trying to make myself feel a little bit better. But I need to pick up the camera because we do have something exciting to look forward to. I'm going to Korea. Not North Korea, South Korea. <laughs> Probably evident. Yeah, so why am I going to Korea? Well, I have lived in Asia now for, God, how many years? Um, but let's see, three and a half years in Shanghai and now a year in Singapore. So I guess that's four and a half years living in Asia. Actually, I've been going to China for over like 11 years or I had been going to China maybe like twice a year for the past 11 years because my parents moved there when I finished school and was taking a gap year before I was moving to university. They basically came and told me, hey, we're going to China. <laughs> we're moving to China which was a little bit shocking. I was pretty surprised at the time, as you can imagine. But it ended up being a really amazing experience and really opened my eyes as well to the world, different cultures, different lifestyles, everything. I mean, I, th I always describe it as before my parents moved to China, my vision of the world was like this. And then after being in China for a while, it was like this. <laughs> It's just so vastly different, but um, no, I, since then I found Asia in particular really interesting. But I've never been to Korea before, and I have to say, the first reason why, <laughs> why, why I made the decision to go is actually to do with skincare. So I am self-confessed obsessed with skincare, like so many people are these days, or I feel like I'm not alone. And I actually saw on social media that they have so many skin clinics over there that are actually at affordable prices because it's such a common thing for people in South Korea to go to clinics and get stuff done. So like having laser treatment or resurfacing or um, microdermabrasion or masks or whatever you want, you name it they do it. Of course, they also do cosmetic procedures and stuff like so regularly too, but that's not what I'm interested in, at least not yet. <laughs> Maybe sometime down the line. Yeah, I saw on social media that it was super affordable and thought, well, I've never been to Korea before. Why not go? But in short, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Obviously, we're not gonna spend the entire time just in a skin clinic. I think we devoted about one day, or half a day actually, to going to the skin clinic and getting a few things done. And we'll also be checking out the shops and skincare shops and buying stuff that we could use like at home as well. And then of course for the rest of the time we're just going to be tourists. So we will be going to the usual kind of touristy attractions, I mean you'll see more Oh, <laughs> later on in this video where we go. We'll be looking around like temples. We want to go to some tea houses. We want to try as much food as possible, but I think for me, it's going to be extremely difficult. I'm celiac, so I can't have any gluten. And that was quite a struggle to be honest, living in China, especially with a language barrier. They actually, like in China, they don't know what gluten is. <laughs> so <laughs> that was always interesting. I always have to say to them, also most don't speak English. So, you know, I'd have to learn in Mandarin, like no soy sauce, no wheat flour, etc., etc. But You know, often as you can imagine, it always found its way into my food. So that was something that I really struggled with. So I'm prepared that in South Korea, it's, it's, I think it may be the same or even more difficult, to be honest. Um, the only way I'm gonna find out is to go and try and just be prepared to eat really boring stuff for myself and watch my partner Carlos eat really yummy dumplings and noodles and all these things that I can't enjoy. But hey, it's about the experience. I'm really looking forward to it. So without any more talking, let's go. Fit check. We are going for comfort because it's quite a long flight actually. I've got my comfy Birkenstocks on, linen, trousers, linen shirt, and a jumper because we know it gets very cold. I also have my Goya bag, which is my best friend when I'm traveling because it is so big. I mean, look at that. You can fit so much in there. 
Having said that, I think we're good to go. Let's do this. Three years today, and we will do the skin clinic. Exciting! And we're starting the day off with a coffee before we head to Gayongbukgong Palace. <laughs>
that um, Carlos is going to get us a cup of drinks. Um, no green tea or a green match, he's going to surprise me. Uh, I expect he'll just get a coffee. This place is so cute. I'm a sucker for anywhere we can sit on the floor. Oh, stay open. I just remembered I had some mochi. And what a perfect environment to eat it. I've got red bean inside. With a nice little courtyard. Not bad. As you can tell, we are back home in Singapore now. Um, sorry I didn't manage to finish the vlog in Korea. What happened was we actually didn't realize that we were running really quite late for our flight. <laughs> um, so everything from that last point that you saw when the rain started to come, it's actually got quite stormy. We realized we were running late, then we struggled to get a taxi back. <laughs> um, it was all a bit crazy manic. So. I didn't quite have time to film. So now I'm saying goodbye now here instead. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I was thinking maybe like if people are interested in like what treatments I got done in the skin clinic, um and what like benefits they had or maybe you want to know what products i bought like in olive young and a couple other places actually i bought quite a few <laughs> skincare products um i was thinking if that's interesting for anyone i can make another video going through the treatments why i had them what are the benefits and all that jazz and i could even give like a price breakdown and that kind of thing if you're interested in it let me know in the comment section and i can put that together for you um but for now i hope you enjoyed coming along with us to korea for the weekend and i'll see you in the next one 